I think UPS just dropped off new bike parts. Let's go check it out. Let's go, Remo. Dirty house. Sorry, guys. Christmas. New baby. Oh, man. So today is new bike parts day. Uh, my bike has been great. Santa Cruz High Tower LTCC. Uh, I've ridden it a ton this year, but uh, I think I've put over 550 miles on it just this year. Uh, 60,000 feet of elevation gain I've ridden in uh, Utah, Park City, um, all over Arizona. It's been a great year. But a couple weeks ago, I upgraded to the DHX2 rear coil. Um, just because I felt like the back end just was, was kind of out of control some of the, on some of the harsher, harsher bumps. So, but what that made me realize is that, you know, now I got the rear of the bike working a lot better. Um, I started noticing the front was starting to not feel as good. So I started looking into it. You know, I know, I know the Fox just released their new 38s. Um, and this is, a, uh, this is the original shock to the Fox Performance Elite. Uh, it's 150 millimeters of travel. Um, and I thought, well, you know, can I do a 160, 170? Um, I don't think I really wanted to go the 170 route because it gets to be too much for this geometry. Because there's a lot of climbing here in Phoenix, lots of techie climbing trails. So um, then I found out they made the 38 and a 160 in the 29 inch wheel size with the 44 millimeter offset. Um, I thought, okay, that's it. That, that's the one. And started looking around, couldn't find them anywhere. Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Um, looked on the pink bike forums, thought I had one lined up, and it sold within a few minutes because I, I said, you know, let me think about it. <laughs> so, so I found one on Jensen, and it just came in today. So let's take a look. Yes, I'm using my handy um, spade inch and a quarter drill bit. So I got the black fork, um, shiny black I guess it is, that's the part number there, 910-20904, take it out of the box here. So this is what the inside of the box looks like, should be some, yeah, volume reducer tokens. star nut, cool, and the main attraction here, let me get this out, alright she's looking good, so fresh and so clean, wow this is much beefier up here, in like 36. <clears throat> so you got the uh, Grip 2, which I'm looking forward to tuning. It's going to be kind of fun. Um, of course, these come with Kashima coating. Looks amazing. Beefy. All right, let's get uh, let's get to taking off the old stuff. All right, got the old shock off. Got the. Uh, race off the uh, bottom of the stem. Cleaned it up a little bit. I can see my battle scars. Yeah, those are uh, South Mountain rocks right there. Um, otherwise in really good shape. Stanchions look good. I'll be selling these uh, on Pink Bike probably later. All right, so the next thing I gotta do is measure the length of the stem so I can cut the new one. Right at seven and three eighths. Yep, seven and three eighths. Just a tick over that. 
All right, got the stem cut. Not bad for a Harbor Freight uh, grinder with a cutoff wheel. Uh, the bottom uh, race is on. Next, I got to put in the star nut. Almost done. All right, so out on the Mormon National Loop, let's see how this 160 fork does on climbs. And what better place to do it than the big, steep, gnarly section on the Mormon. So far, not so bad. Tricky section here. It's legit. Now, I'll be honest, I was actually expecting this fork to make climbs a little more difficult for me, but I really could not notice any difference. All right, heading down, woman. guys yeah the fork definitely feels more just plush Not so harsh on my hands. Yeah. Shock working. Oh, yeah. So smooth. What a difference. Yeah, way more control.
still pretty rowdy. Thank you. Oh, that was good. This fork is a game changer on this bike. Oh, sorry. Thanks. That section of national just doesn't seem like that big a deal anymore. I was just on it like three days ago. The front end of this bike's just just kind of eating stuff up now. I mean, not like it wasn't before, but noticeable improvement. I like. The main advantage with this fork to me is its high speed dampening control. I only have one click of high speed compression dialed in and the Fox recommended settings for everything else and that's it. But it is much much smoother while still having that feeling of being glued to the ground and it has definitely given me more confidence on the bike. Uh, I now find myself looking for bigger things to hit and this does turn into riding better lines through trickier sections and I just have more fun. There is a small weight penalty but to me it's absolutely worth it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my quick review of the new Fox 38, and I'll see you next time.